today I'm going to be showing you how to give your rabbit medicine. So giving your rabbit medicine may be a little complicated. It was for me at first, but then I figured out how to give my rabbit medicine in an easier way. Um, the best way is to make your bunny into a burrito. We call it the bunny burrito. Um, so it turns out Coco had a severe ear infection in both of his ears. Um, I found that out by taking him to the vet because I thought he had mites because he was itching his ears so much and he was like flopping his head. Turns out it wasn't mites, um, he had ear infections. So they gave him a bunch of medicine um, and we've been having to give it to him twice a day, uh, one in the morning, one at night. And we've been having to do this for 21 days and we'll find out January 11th on how he is doing, if his ears are cleared or if he needs more treatment. So I know it is complicated. Um, you might not know if your bunny is sick or not because bunnies are great at hiding their sicknesses. Um, they don't show any signs sometimes. The only thing you might see is like maybe a teary eye, um, itching. They might be hunched and hiding away constantly, being aggressive with you, um, change, in, um, change in litter type of situations. So they might be having accidents when they shouldn't be having accidents when you know your rabbit is like fully litter trained. So... I'm going to teaching you how to give your bunny medicine. Um, the most important thing you have to do is always set up your area first before you get started because the longer you take, the more irritated your rabbit gets. So what I do is I set up all three syringes first. Each, uh, each medicine is for something else. So one is for his ear infection, their antibiotics. The second one is so that antibiotic doesn't give him diarrhea, so it's to help with his stomach. Um, and the third one is also for the ears, um, just a different type of antibiotic. So we're going to fill those up first. We always have to make sure to shake them well because you want to make sure it's mixed well. And what you're going to do first, let's show you guys. So what you're going to do first is open each one. You can have your syringe. You're going to make sure you have your bottle shaked well. You're going to put your syringe inside and you're going to pull lightly. So it's filled, um, but now you have to double check what your measurement is. So for this one, it's 0.25. So we're going to push it back out to 0.25, which is about this much right there. Right there, that's 0.25. And we're gonna, oh, we're gonna place it over here. And we're gonna put this net to the side so we don't get mixed up. Also, they do say which one needs to be refrigerated or not. So this one needs to be refrigerated. So I just put that to the other side. This one is also refrigerated. Um, we have to make sure we shake that well. And we start filling up the next syringe. Um, I always put a paper towel underneath because the medicine is really sticky. So I don't want there to be a mess. Why does this look yellow? Okay, so same procedure. You just put your syringe and fill it up. And once again, the measurements. This is supposed to be 0.5, so we're going to push it back down to 0.5. We're going to place that next. The other one. So I learned which medicine Coco Hayes and which one he likes. Um, so I give him the one he doesn't like first just to get it out of the way. And then I give him the medicine that he likes last so he doesn't end up being mad. And then this is his last medicine. Pull out. And this one's also supposed to be, this one's supposed to be 0.35. So we're gonna push down all the way to 0.35. Okay. So, you have to make sure everything is set up. So his medicine is set up. These are fridge. This is no fridge. We have the three syringes here ready. And now I'm going to show you how I burrito a bunny. Um, I've seen different videos on how to burrito a bunny, but he doesn't like the traditional bunny burrito. He likes his paws kind of sticking out. That's the only way he feels comfortable. So I'm going to show you how I burrito Coco. So the first thing that I do is I get my chair because it's higher off the ground. 
Um, if you do it on the ground ground, your rabbit's gonna squirm around and try to escape. Um, I put it up on a higher level because I know when Coco's up, he doesn't try to like squirm around or jump. He feels like he's stuck on the chair. Sometimes he will jump off, but that's when he feels like he's by himself and I'm not there to like pre prevent him from doing that. So I always get a higher elevated spot that just makes them feel like they're not supposed to jump off. So you can do whatever you want. You can do it on the floor, you can do it on a table. Just make sure when they jump off, they jump off safely. You don't want them to like get really squirmish and then fall off and like break their backs or something. You just want to make sure that they're safely getting off the chair. So the next thing you need is a blanket or a towel, um, something you don't mind getting dirty and you can wash over and over again because the medicine might get all over it. So what I do is I first lay it out over the chair before I put him up because if I do it after, he's gonna try to escape. So we have this ready. Now I'm gonna grab Coco. He hates this, but I'm gonna put him here. Oh, poor baby, look at him. Okay, don't be mad, put your ears down. He was laying down in marshmallow pose. And sleeping and i just woke him up don't be mad coco okay i'm gonna burrito you okay so i flip this inside first because you don't want it to be over their head so i put him above like that just kind of make him steady you know little marshmallow pose and then while holding them i just flip this over making sure his ears are out and then once this is over I also flip the other side and now he's wrapped in a little burrito this is burrito cocoa guys I think just making them into a burrito they feel much safer it also prevents them from like scratching and you know jumping and squirming because they're in a little burrito roll so this is burrito cocoa with his airplane ears because he's probably super mad at me right now because he doesn't want to take his meds but he's being still so now I have my mess prepared over here. I'm gonna take the one he hates the most, which is the one is, that's actually filled the most. Um, so everybody can do this differently. Um, you have to kind of shove it up in their mouth at an angle, because if you do this, he's gonna move his mouth away. He hates them. Don't be mad, Coco, I'm so sorry. I don't know what to do. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Sometimes when he really doesn't want his medicine, I may like pick him up while he's on a burrito and I kind of make him sit on my like back and just hold him so he feels more safer and he just has like this disadvantage of moving his head. Because here he can tuck his head inside. Stop tucking your head inside, Coco. Come on. Okay. So what you're supposed to do is kind of hold one finger over their ear like to comfort them and one hand a little bit under the chin and then you're supposed to move up coco okay you're supposed to do this and then kind of don't put it up all the way but you have to kind of coco just closes his teeth so it's very hard to put the syringe in his mouth like he will just do that like not he'll like like that so kind of have to get it from the side because they have two front teeth in the front and two bottom teeth so there's little spaces on the side and you kind of have to just find that space and then just slightly put it in until they start like munching so i always do it on this side okay he doesn't want to do this please coco please you have to take your meds please okay please okay so this method is not working today. This method might work for you, but not today for me. So today I'm gonna take Coco and make him sit on my lap instead. Just make sure you don't lay them down because laying down your rabbit is very dangerous. They can go into a trance, get paralyzed, and then they may die of shock. So we're gonna try something else. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. So I have Coco still in the burrito so his body's not squirming and I just have him pushed up against my back his feet are right here safe um, and I'm just gonna start putting my finger under so he doesn't tuck his mouth in 
and I'm just going to try to find his little mouth and push right next to his teeth. He's not opening his mouth. Open your mouth quickly. Please. 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 Come on. <laughs> he hates his medicine so much. Okay, come on, Coco. Please. I'll give you treats. I'll give you unlimited treats. Okay, like that. And then you like push lightly on the actual syringe. Once you get that opportunity of, okay, sorry, sorry. Once you get that opportunity of them being able to like munch on it, that's the best time to like slowly start pushing on the syringe. So don't push it when it's outside their mouth because their mouths are gonna get super messy. So ta-da, that was pretty simple. Not really because it took a long time, but we're gonna go on to the next medicine. This is his second one that he doesn't like slash kind of likes so we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna try to find his little mouth hole okay okay i know you don't like it baby please please second one is done um what you may notice is they might spit it out a little bit don't wipe it off just yet because when you put the next medicine in they like automatically start licking their lips all right coco next medicine this is the one you like Come on. this one tastes like fruits no okay um by the way when i have my hand here i'm not pushing really hard i'm just doing that so his head doesn't go down um, so he doesn't like jump off. They just feel more secure. So make sure you do not press hard. You don't want to suffocate your rabbit. Okay. Come on, Coco. Okay, let's push the air out a little bit. Don't forget to push the air out of your meds if there's air. This one always ends up having air, I think, because the medicine is much thinner. So there we go. Please. I know you don't want to take it, but you have to. You have to feel better. Okay, a little more. There's a little left. There we go. What a good boy. So that is how I give Coco his medicine. Now to safely take him out of the burrito, I just hold him. And I just place him right there. And then I unwrap him. And then I just place him on the ground so he feels better. But that is pretty much it for giving rabbits medicine. So always try doing the first method first by having them on an isolated place. If they're like Coco and reject it because they have movement of their head all over, I suggest doing what I did by holding them. Make sure they do not go on their backs. Hold them upright. Do not squeeze them. Do not strangle them. They will die. You just have to hold them lightly make them feel secure, make sure their back is on your chest so that they feel more safer, and then just try to put the medicine in their mouth. Um, if that doesn't work, you can always get a piece of banana and kind of just put the medicine on the banana and let them eat the banana. I personally don't like that method. I like giving them the medicine straight up because I feel like it's more effective because if you put it on a banana, it might just get messy. Medicine will get everywhere especially if the amount is like a lot so that's your last chance if you like have to find a way but you can't find a way you can use treats you can put it you know squeeze it into the banana do all that stuff and it might help but this is my method so do whatever helps you i hope all of your bunnies are safe and all of your bunnies feel better hopefully coco recovers soon we all want healthy pets so they live long Thank you everyone. Don't forget to subscribe and like. We have more videos on the way. Bye.